Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to evaluate for the double angle of sine, cosine, and tangent when given an equation of cosine of theta equals negative 2. Um, that should not be up top. That is in front. Negative 2 over 3. And then also given a constraint of theta where theta has to be in the third quadrant. So in uh, my first video, when I evaluated evaluating the, um, the double angles, we were given a right triangle. Well, now we're not given a right triangle, so we have to go ahead and, and draw the right triangle. So already solved this problem, so I'm not going to do that again. So let's go a little bit higher, because I'm going to have to use the whole board, which I found out in my previous video. OK, so we have our four quadrants. All right, so it has to be in quadrant three. Now remember, the hypotenuse can never be negative. So that means cosine has to be negative. And remember, when you're drawing a right triangle in your quadrants, you're always going to use a central angle. That means theta, your angle is always going to have a point at the origin. And it's also going to be off of the x-axis. <sighs> um, so I need to do something in the third quadrant. So that for any triangle in the third quadrant, it's going to look like this. Um, the negative, that has to represent for negative cosine. That represents theta. There's my right angle. Now, I don't know what sine is, but I do know that sine is going to be negative, right? Because since you're going in the third quadrant, I know my sine is going to be negative. And my hypotenuse is going to be 3. So therefore, to go ahead and figure out what is going to be my, um, my opposite side or my height, I'm going to have to use Pythagorean theorem. So I can do negative 2 squared. Right now, we don't know what that is. We just know it's negative. So I'm just going to call it x plus x squared equals 3 squared. Well, that becomes 4 plus x squared equals 9. Subtract 4, subtract 4. x squared equals 5. Square root, square root. x equals plus or minus the square root of 5. And as I mentioned, since we knew, since this is going down, we know that this has to be a negative. So it's going to be a negative square root of 5. OK. So now we know what those sides are. Now we know what all the sides are of our triangle. Now we can evaluate for our double angle. Double angle of sine, double angle of cosine, double angle of tangent. And all we're going to do is just use the formulas that were provided or that we've done on our practice and we know. <sighs> so first one, let's do the sine of 2 theta. So the formula for the sine of 2 theta is 2 sine of theta cosine of theta. Now all we're simply going to do is look at our theta, look at our right triangle, and identify what is the sine and what is the cosine of our theta. So sine, remember, is opposite over hypotenuse. So that's going to be negative square root of 5 over 3. Cosine is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's going to be negative 2. Oops, negative 2 over 3. Now we simply just multiply across. You can rewrite that as a 1 if you'd like. So 2 times negative 2 is going to be a negative 4. But negative 4 times negative square root of 5 is going to make that a positive. So it's going to be positive 4 square root of 5 over 9. And there you go. That's it. Uh, let's go ahead and do cosine. Cosine of 2 theta. We're going to use our formula. Remember, there's three to choose from. I always like to use, unless I'm doing like, uh, unless I'm doing like identities or simplifying, I always like to use cosine squared of theta minus sine squared of theta. OK, so remember, cosine is going to be negative 2 over 3. So it's going to be negative 2 over 3 squared minus sine, which is negative square root of 5, over 3 squared. Now remember, when squaring these, you've got to square the numerator as well as the denominator. So that becomes a positive 4 over 9 minus uh, the negative square root of 5 is going to give me a positive square root of 25, which is just going to be 5 over 9. Now, since they have the same denominators, I can subtract the numerators. And that's going to give me a negative 1 over 9. Now, for the tangent, I've learned my lesson. And I know that tangent is going to take a little bit more work. So I'm going to start all the way over here for tangent of 2 theta. So in doing tangent of 2 theta, I'm going to do 2 tangent of theta divided by 1 minus tangent squared of theta. So now, basically what we're going to do is, again, identify what tangent is. Well, remember, tangent is opposite over adjacent. Okay. Now remember, a negative square root of 5 over negative 2 is now going to become positive. So therefore, I have 2 square root of 5 over 2 divided by 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 squared. 
OK, well, I can multiply this across. Notice that 2 is in the numerator, and that 2 is in the denominator. So those are going to divide out. So I'm left with the square root of 5 divided by um, square root of 5, again, is square, to, square root of 5 squared is just going to be 5. And that becomes 4. So it's 1 over 5 over 4. Okay. So now, to subtract these, I've got to use common denominators. So it's going to be the square root of 5 over 4 over 4 minus 5 over 4. Therefore, that gives me square root of 5 over negative 1, which is just equal to a negative square root of 5. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you evaluate for the double angle of sine, cosine, and tangent when given an equation and an angle. Thanks.